What's going on, you guys? So I have another Acer Aspire XC. Uh, this is a 1660G. Uh, gonna be a teardown. Actually, this is a brand new PC, actually. So what I will do is I'm gonna lay it flat. And if you guys are asking how much this computer cost, uh, actually it cost $569 with the tax. It's actually around $600, over $600. That's what the cost is. Just for the computer itself. Not, not including the upgrades. So, so what I will do is I'm gonna remove the two screws in the back and I do using a Phillips head. First, all we'll do is uh, you gotta remove the screw here. Uh, the reason why is you know before you pull the front cover front cover plastic, you have to remove the optical drive here, the DVD drive here. So you have to disconnect it, and it's only hold by one screw here in the middle. Now. You're gonna disconnect the SATA and power cable for the optical drive. And it should slide to the right. And I'm gonna remove the front cover plastic. Gently lift this up like this and it comes out. It's just all plastic. Now to remove the, the cage here, see the hard drive cage? Uh, you gotta remove one, two, three, four, and a five. There's a one screw also in the middle you have to remove. Lift this up, and you see that screw here in the middle? You have to also remove it. And it should slide to the left this way. I gently lift it up like this. SATA cable you have to disconnect and this is for the hard drive and also disconnect the three and a half inch slide to the left like this and gently that's how you pull it out uh, so now I will remove the the SATA cable for the power for an optical drive and a hard drive. Uh, yeah, this is a little bit smaller Phillips that I'm using for the removing the SSD. And 
and it's only a hole by one screw. It's a small one. And the way it comes out, you know, lift it up gently like this and pull it to the top like this way. You pull it this way. And now, what I will do is remove the ram. Disconnect the power from the power supply to the motherboard. And right here, the CPU power right here in the corner also. And the power supply in here is a 300 watt. So what I will do now is I'm gonna also disconnect here the front or the USB ports. So this looks like this is for the power switch. Yeah, it is. Let's see if I can uh, get that removed also. Okay, yeah. And it comes out like that. It's just got plastic clips. I need a flat ass screwdriver. You guys can see. And this power switch, it goes behind the motherboard. You see that? So that's why it goes behind the motherboard. So I can't pull it out until I pull the motherboard out. Okay, so what I will do is, I'm gonna go on the back side. And I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the, here the screws here from the power supply. Remove it. card is another screw here and we'll be high like this and there's another screw here you have to remove here from the power supply you see that little plate right here it's mounted to the top and the bottom supply yeah in here it's a uh, 80 plus bronze 300 watt now what I will do is I want to move the VD card and to do that I'm just gonna there's a clip right here you see that right here in the corner you know, press on like this with your finger and it should come out. Press on it and you can should come right out. card here right there what 
what I will do is I'm gonna go like this so you guys can see. I'm gonna move the screws here because we're gonna pull the motherboard out. Disconnect the CPU cooler heatsink. Now, I'm gonna go here in the corner also, so you guys can see. There's a screw here in the corner you have to remove. I'm gonna double check. And there's another one here. You see that in the corner right there you have to remove. Before when I move the motherboard, I need to get a paper towel. Because I'm gonna remove the thermal compound from the CPU before you pull it. So you guys, you gotta double check. You see there's another screw here in the middle right there you have to remove. I'm gonna double check again, okay. So yeah, I can pull the motherboard out. <clears throat> I'm gonna go like this. And you gotta do this. Lift it up like that, and one of them comes out like this. So here's the motherboard, and be the last part is I'm gonna remove the CPU. It's got an Intel Core i5 11th gen. CPU. This is kind of like a micro TX, but it's wider. See how they made it? So it'll be the USB ports built to the motherboard. And they're supposed to have a heatsink here. It doesn't have it. That's fine. So, you guys, this is the motherboard. Here's the back side. And I'm gonna move the back the IO Shield last part. So see so guys, this will be the end of the video. I'm gonna remove this also the last one. This is for the power switch. Right there. See so guys, thanks for watching. Bye.